really, really love what you do. The reason I got into that was、um, a movie that came out called Jurassic Park. As much math and coding as possible. Yeah.、Um, hello.、Uh, my name is Grace Huang.、Um, I am a, a data scientist, and、um, I lead a team of data scientists at Pinterest.、Um, so what we do is we're very interested in understanding a little bit better how the users are using our product and how we can improve our product.、Um, so we use、um, big data and we use machine learning、uh, as tools、um, to help us improve. Uh, the experience that the users have on our、uh, website or on our app. I was trained as a computational biologist. So what that means is、um, I use a lot of machine learning techniques to study the human genome.、Um, and the reason I got into that was.、Um, When I was、uh, a teenager, there was a movie that came out called Jurassic Park.、Uh, I don't know if any of you have seen it. You might have seen the later version of it.、Um, but I was very captivated by the concept of,、um, you know, the fact that there's、uh, these DNAs that capture the the code of life. Um, and so I, 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 I was like, I want to do that. I want to understand it. I want to become a scientist. I want to study that.、Um, and so,、uh, in the meantime, I've always been very interested in math. I really enjoy doing math.、Um, and so, when I went to college and eventually started doing my PhD, I was、um, very interested in、um, becoming a scientist and use the tools of math、um, to actually help me solve. Uh, these very complex and interesting problems.、Um, I ended up in data science though because I realized later on in my life that、um, that you know science is not the only field where you can use the power of computing and the power of mathematics to help you understand a very complex system.、Um, I realized that there's just so many more very interesting problems that are waiting to be tackled、uh, using the same. Uh, tools as well,、um, and so I, I wanted to look around a little bit and learn a little bit more about what other fields are available where I can apply these skills and expertise to help them solve the problem. And that's kind of how I got into data science.、Um, and so I've been practicing data science for a while, and now you know I'm applying the same、uh, skills to a different domain. And who knows where I will be next? You know, I'll, I'll try to find a new place. I've worked on a range of different projects.、Um, when I was doing my graduate studies,、um, I was trying to study the human genome, and in particular, I was trying to understand、uh, whether or not there are ways for us to reliably detect different types of cancer. And so, specifically, I was studying breast cancer and ovarian cancer.、Uh, we were trying to understand a little bit better. Um, if we could detect、um, the the more malicious form of breast cancer and ovarian cancer very early on, so that you can、uh, devise different types of treatment plans for patients early on,、um, so that was very gratifying, very interesting.、Um, a, a project I do now at Pinterest is actually、um, understanding a little bit better、uh, what the long term ecosystem. Uh, looks like for Pinterest. So Pinterest has a lot of pins, a lot of content,、um, and so what is a good way for us to continue encouraging users to bring these really wonderful content into our system?、Um, can we look at the graph among these content to understand how they're connected? Can we look at the graph of the、uh, the users who bring them in to see how they're connected? And can we use those relationships to? Help us figure out a strategy to encourage people to bring more content into the system. So I would say, if you are starting out really early in your career,、um, or maybe you're in high school, maybe you're in middle school, and you're wondering what you want to do next,、um, study as much math and coding as possible. And the reason is.、Uh, These skills will be required and used everywhere you go.、Um, uh, in the meantime, 
try to really discover your passion and your interest and try to pair your math and coding skill with something that you really love. So for example, if you really love music, um, there are really cool algorithms out there to help someone write a song. There are really cool algorithms right there to help someone figure out whether or not um, the right uh, pitch and the right acoustics will make a piece of music sound even better, right? Um, there, there are a lot of really cool uh, applications once you have enough mathematics and coding under your belt. So I would say uh, stay as technical as you can, but at the same time, uh, really, really love what you do and find out what you're passionate about. Um, and what you're passionate about doesn't have to be a school subject. It could be uh, a hobby. It could be um, about cooking. It could be about traveling. It could be about a sports that you really love. Um, and you will be able to find ways to combine your passion and your skill in very unexpected ways um, in the future. And it's really cool when you find a way to do that. really cool example of data science application uh, would be around smart home devices. Um, this is already starting and I think will continue to be a very important field in the future. Um, so for example, you might have devices that listens to you and is able to take your command, or you might have uh, devices that you know can automate cooking a meal for you or cleaning the house for you. Um, and there's a lot of data science involved in understanding how do you interpret the input from the sensor to how do you process it, to how do you analyze the patterns and usage um, to be able to help the user a little bit better. So I think this will be a really fun and interesting field where you can apply your mathematics and data science knowledge um, to make everyone's everyday life a lot better.